Hey, what up guys? It's your boy Nerdalicious here and today we got a little quick tutorial and what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to do the blueprint effect in Photoshop CS5 and 6. It will both work or 4, it doesn't really matter, it will work either way. So what you want to do is you want to open a new file and uh, you want to change the width to 5 and change your height to 5 so it's a 5 by 5 pixel. So yeah, click enter. So here you're going to see this really, 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 really small dot. You just want to use a magnifying glass and just hold your right click button or your left, I mean your left click, right click and just hold it until uh, it's a huge square and it just stops. And you're going to be preset it to your brush here. And what you want to go down, you want to go down to pencil tool and change your size to one. But make sure you're not on some, uh, a different kind of brush that you preset it or you pre-made or you're or you got off somewhere so you want to make an an opposite L in black so there you go an opposite L so yeah pretty simple and now what you want to do is you want to click edit and go down to pattern define pattern and name it whatever you want so you can name it uh, blueprint but trust me this works for everything so yeah okay so now you want to go back to your main start thing and <laughs> Click on your first layer, change it to a color where it's like a blueprint color. So just just fish out a random color. It doesn't really matter because you can either you can color correct it back. But I don't think this is the right color because you want it to be more moody, I guess. Uh, I think it's a bit dark. Um, just find a nice color <laughs> color. Just find a nice color, like I guess that. And what you want to do is you want to click on your layer style. Just double click on your layer, and this will pop up as your layer style. Style, and you want to go down to pattern overlay. And this is probably going to be your preset if you haven't already made a preset. And go the all go all the way down to the very bottom of your list. And the thing you have right now is probably this. So now what you want to do is you want to change the blending mode to overlay or soft soft light I mean soft light and you want to scale it in so it's I guess up close so maybe at a 4.12 or 412 the scale percentage and you want to change the opacity down to maybe 50 yeah 50 so it's kind of good kind of not but either way it still works or if you want to go even more down just I guess make it go down and now that's, that's practically what it will look like and now I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, like put photos and make them more I guess uh, uh, blueprinty and today I have this file I'm going to quickly find it where is this file okay well I'm just going to get this random file that I got before and now I don't know where it is so I'm just going to go back uh, save downloads drill okay so now I have this file and I don't know where it is sadly okay now I've got your drill okay and so I want you want to drag it in or drag any file in and I'm just gonna do this really quickly so now you have your drill and yeah so now what you want to do is you want to go down you want to go up to your filter and go down to stylize and go down to edges find edges and it should be looking like that which kind of looks weird but don't worry about it now click adjustment and hue and saturation if your color if your picture has color then just change the saturation to just black and click ok and now it's white and black which it kind of looks weird and it doesn't really match in right and now what you want to do is you want to click command or control i to uh, turn it and make it the opposite color but in black and white so now it's opposite and now what you want to do with this is you want to click uh, you want to change the layer style to oh well I mean a <laughs> screen and now it's gonna look like a blueprint effect which looks pretty sick and I have these uh, brushes that I've got off the interwebs and it just really adds on it looks really nice like hold hold on a second it's not this uh, it just adds on and it looks really really nice when you're trying to do stuff so here yeah, I'll show you and like look it looks really blueprinty and all that and practically you can just add a bunch of these 
and it will look good. Just add a name, I guess. Drill. Change it up. Make sure everything's all white, and it just looks amazing. That took a matter of like if you memorize it and all that. It took really. It just takes like about two minutes to do, and sharing this tutorial with you guys. I hope you guys like it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, peace.